Okay. I'd like to call the January 29th, 2020 regular meeting of the Fenton Community High School District 100 regular board meeting to order. Uh, may I have a roll call, Mary? Yes. Jalowick? Here. Peyton Howell? Here. Figueroa? Here. Rago? Here. Ramirez? Here. Ting Pao Pong? Here. Wiedemann? Here. Okay, we have a quorum. Uh, will everyone please rise and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank our beliefs, successful, passionate learners thrive when we champion innovative teaching and engaged learning, school and home collaborate effectively, we provide a safe, secure, and caring environment, we infuse social, emotional learning into academics and culture, diversity empowers our learning community, we prepare students to fulfill their civic responsibility. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, Rick, could you please present the recognitions this evening? We're going to start with the choir. You can get Ms. Williams up here. Um, we're starting first with them because they're departing first thing in the morning to go to Peoria. So let them get home early. So uh, every year, 2,000 students in Illinois audition in order to uh, possibly go downstate with the Illinois Music Educators Association. Um, there are nine different geographic districts. And based on that audition, which I believe was September? October? Um, senior level students, which are sophomores, juniors, and seniors, may be invited to participate in the annual All-State Music Conference, which is what these students are about to do tomorrow. And we got three of them. I'll let Ms. Williams introduce them. Um, for the tenor in All-State Choir, we have Jason Garcia. I'm sorry. Alto in the All-State Honors Choir, Anne Sofinetti. And tenor in the All-State Honors Choir, Bart Sparno. Just to discuss briefly how rigorous these auditions are and how proud we are of these students, um, they prepare five pieces um, from which they are chosen to do a selection and they don't find out that selection until the week of. Um, they also have to prepare scales and triads as well as a sight reading excerpt. So it's a really challenging um, collegiate level audition. Um, part of the audition is also tone quality and musicianship and these students have gone above and beyond in both of those categories. Um, and we are very excited that they are participating. We leave bright and early tomorrow morning and very proud of them. So thank you for yes. recognizing them. I think we get a photo here. Can we get the screen turned on? All right, the next one is outside of our realm, but we are still extremely proud of her. She's represented Wooddale, Bensonville, and our portion of Addison with extreme distinction and honor. This is <laughs> Natasha uh, Gakovic. Gakovic. Uh, she is a speed skater, and when the rest of us were catching up on sleep over the winter break, she was in Salt Lake City, Utah, uh, speed skating. So it's, uh, it's kind of like Apollo Ono, yeah. Apollo Ono, going like 30 miles per hour on ice. 
And uh, at the national championships, she took second. And it was a... So it's a combination of multiple events. I looked it up on the website. Uh, it was five events, right? Yes. And you took first place in three of them, right? Um, no, I got... Um, <laughs> sorry. I got second in two events, and I got third in two events, and I got... Um, first in one event. Okay. Yeah, the average out, she's second in the whole country. So we just wanted to recognize her and make sure everyone knew what she was up to. Give her... Yeah, that's my dream. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I believe she goes to Milwaukee like three times a week? Yeah. Uh, right after school, so about an hour and a half up there, and then she's on the, the ice for long periods of time and doing her homework on the way back. So uh, that's impressive to be holding their own in the classroom with all that work outside. I mean, it's to see uh, Bensonville, Illinois on that website behind her name. Is, what year are you? I'm a freshman. You're a freshman. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, bless your parents for uh, letting you take the class. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. 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 How did you switch to, to, to speed skating? I mean, like, where, where was that clip? Um, the 2014 Olympics. I uh, saw Shawnee Davis, and I was like, oh, I want to try that. No. I want to try that. You know, the, the course is so tight, and you're with so many people in that course. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It's a thrill. Yeah. So she's got two more races. I believe one's in February, right? Yes. And the other is in April? March. March, okay. And where are they? The, um, the one in February is in Minnesota, and the one in March is in Utah. Utah. Well, good luck. And when are the Olympic tryouts? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, my coach says that if we stay on track, I'll be able to try out for the Olympics, the next Olympics, but I won't be able to make it, but I can still try out. So. Because of your age? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Good for you. Very good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. 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 We've got one more. It's a holdover from uh, last term. Our December board meeting was right on uh, final exam, so we, we didn't want to disrupt them. But we've got two gentlemen from the cross country team that went down states. Um, it was a very competitive, I believe, 200 runners? Or is it 300? Uh, 200? About 200. 200. So we, we got two of those spots and bring the coaches up here. Um, got Jimmy. Oh, Sam uh, Ilizano. Did you? He's already graduated. He's moving on to, to the college life. And you were downstate three times? Yes. Yes. And then we've got Jimmy Palumbo. Uh, Jimmy had a personal best while he was down at state. So not only uh, fame but glory. Coaches, you guys? <laughs> you, Thanks. No, more. no that's good. Um, so thank you, uh, board members, for uh, honoring our athletes tonight. Um, Congratulations to the other athletes and uh, choir um, singers. Um, it's always a great pleasure to talk in front of you. Um, it's also a little sad because it not only says that we are successful in representing Fenton High School at the state meet, but we're also uh, saying goodbye to some of our upperclassmen, our seniors. And so it's two seniors that were able to qualify this year. Um, they both qualified as an individual, which uh, they finished as the top seven individual finishers at the uh, sectional meet, which we hosted here at Fenton High School. 
um, which was not an easy day to run. Um, if anyone was there that day, it, we had gotten rain, snow, ice all week, and it all decided to melt Thursday night into Friday morning. So Saturday morning, it was all mud. Um, so it was f a foot, five inches, six inches of mud uh, all over the course. Um, and even Sam, who had a great year as, as a junior, was able to replicate uh, his that effort during his senior year. And Jimmy almost ran a PR, and despite having a foot of mud to run through, um, so it was really fun and cool to see, um, especially with Jimmy because originally we didn't think he had qualified, and then with some IHS, IHSA uh, policies being bent and broken, and uh, he was able to advance as a um, kind of as an addition into the state meet. So it was always fun to see Sam go, but it was also great to have Jimmy go down and get that experience as well. Um, as, as Mr. Kampik said, uh, Jimmy ran a PR at the state meet. Uh, Sam went out hard trying to uh, run a PR. Wasn't able to quite get it, but he had been such a great race his junior year. It was going to be really hard to uh, beat that time. Um, so once again, it's great to be able to say congrats to these guys, but it's going to be sad that we won't have the opportunity to coach them again in cross country. Um, and Sam not having the opportunity or not having the uh, season of track this year, having decided to graduate early. So um, we wish them both. We know they're both going to achieve great things in the future because um, they know the work, the hard work and dedication they put through when they're running. Uh, it's definitely going to pay off whatever their post-secondary uh, careers will take them. So thank you again. Um, All right, thank you, Rick. Um, Mary, do we have any requests for public comment? None this evening. None, okay. Thanks. Then we move on to the District 100 reports, James. Uh, first one up is our financial audit firm. I'll have Bruce introduce our guest. Hi. Uh, if you want to come up, Mr. Tim Gavin from Lauterbeck and Amen. Our uh, new or our recommended audit firm that the board will take action on later this evening, um, but we did want to bring them in, him in, to represent the firm and introduce himself to the board and uh, take it away, Tim. Okay, thank you. Uh, I haven't prepared any formal remarks, but um, I am here to represent Lauterbach and Amon. Um, we've submitted a, a proposal in response to the district's RFP, and we're very proud of it. And um, the proposal itself presents a very thorough outline of our uh, profile of the firm, uh, you know, who's involved, and um, you know, our approach to the audit process, and of course our fee. Um, but just to kind of give you an overview, we as a firm um, live and breathe the public sector. Um, as I have my whole career, um, we've uh, been in existence for about 23 years. Have grown from. Uh, the two founding partners up to a, 
uh, a healthy 160 uh, professionals altogether at this point. Um, all we do is government work. Uh, we believe in um, the purpose and function of our local governments, and we've, we're proud of uh, making it a specialty. Uh, in particular, uh, school districts, we currently serve uh, approximately 20 um, school districts themselves, as well as some, uh, some ROEs and other uh, education-related um, organizations. We have uh, a dedicated audit team. We have a, um, a wealth of knowledge that comes with having the resources of a, of a, a larger than average firm. Um, we take a very organized approach to our audit process, uh, as well as uh, a heavy focus on uh, our client relations uh, and a very personal approach. Um, we, we prefer to be uh, in direct contact um, and uh, helping you every step of the way. We see ourselves as being on the same side with a common goal, uh, and we'd like to help you get there. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions related to the proposal or the firm or, or anything else I can answer. I, have no I think we're good. I, th I think the committee made a good choice. Yeah. You know, <laughs> prepared to be speaking. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank, yep. Thank, Thank you. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you. Next one is facility, uh, Fenton facility assessment update. I'll have Sam just do a recap of what we saw an hour ago or a couple minutes ago. Very good. Okay, so we had a finance committee uh, prior to this meeting, and basically it was a presentation of the facility assessment in detail by uh, STR, who are our architects. Uh, you know, they went through at very detail the exterior of the building, the systems, the site itself, and then various areas of the building. Uh, sort of some of the themes that emerged is that our systems are coming to the end of their useful life, anywhere from zero to the next 10 years. That was definitely apparent. Um, and they also mentioned it's also an opportunity to take a look at the educational components and where we're going in the future compared to the older building that we have. So, you know, clearly there is some significant work to be done to take a look at. Uh, the committee, uh, it was recommended by STR to the committee that we take a look at number one, an educational adequacy study, and then secondly, an athletic site master plan. So those would be our immediate next steps that the board uh, would take a look at. Uh, at the committee meeting, the entire board was there, which I think is a tribute to the board and their interest in, in, in this topic. So that's it. Very good. Okay. Very good. The next one is an intergovernmental mm -hmm. agreement regarding usage of Redmond Aquatic Center. It's basically a swimming pool in Bensonville. A request from District 8. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much. <laughs> Portrait of a graduate. Uh, just a really a quick uh, review of the of what's happening. We're trying to finish up basically the last stage of our portrait of a graduate. It's been going on for a couple of months now. We're still not there yet. Uh, what happened, uh, real quickly, there's subcommittees uh, that are working on a couple of initiatives. The presentation to the board for the March 11th meeting, where all three districts will be here again at Fenton. And we're going to ask the board, uh, the three boards, to approve the portrait of a graduate. And I want to thank again Jackie, Paul, and uh, Kit for being part of that committee. It was a lot of work. Um, a lot of evenings were were, um, were donated or sacrificed uh, in, to, to make this happen. Uh, so there's a presentation committee. There's a language committee. So we want to be um, united in each of the items and each of the words there on that pamphlet. There's a pamphlet committee. And, it's, and, and lastly, there's an a advertisement committee. Once again, the joint board meeting will be March 11th at approximately 6 o'clock. A formal presentation of the portrait of a graduate will be presented to the three school district board members. Uh, the meeting is about an hour long, and a recommendation to approve the portrait of a graduate will be made. We recommend the three boards to approve the portrait of a graduate. Intergovernmental agreement regarding use of, usage of Redmond Aquatic Center. That's basically the swimming pool in Bensonville. There was a request by District 88 to use Red Redmond Recreation uh, Aquatic Center with Fenton. Um, oh, it disappeared. Okay, the rest of mine was disappeared. Uh, basically, what's happening is that 
the park district where they're renting their swimming pool, it's too small. I think uh, the, the report was there's only three lanes and it's shared by the community. So therefore, their kids, their teams, their swim teams are practicing there where adults are there as well. So it's really inappropriate and they're, they're not hitting their goals. So they reached out to us to see if, that was, uh, if that's a possibility. We're still looking into it. There's a couple benefits uh, to sharing. Redmond, we're approximately paying $16,000 a year to use that facility. It's quite costly. By sharing it with another school district, it would reduce the cost significantly. Now, the question is, do, is there enough lanes there? Absolutely, there's enough lanes there. There's eight lanes there. Would they be there at the same time our students are that's, there? That's what they're looking at. Okay. They're utilizing three lanes at, this, at the current moment. Our swim team is not the most robust teams. Um, boys swim team, I'm sorry, girls swim team is approximately 17, boys team, swim team is approximately 20. As you know, there's four levels to it. Mm -hmm. Another benefit would be just to be with other kids. So their skills um, are, are developed, uh, friendships are made, and more of a collaborative sort of feeling. Um, athletic directors, coaches are, are talking. They're in favor of it. They think it's going to be a win for everyone. Is it a combined team? It's not a combined team. It's still two different teams. Um, we still have to double check with the city of Bensonville since we have an intergovernment agreement with them if this is possible. So those are the three factors. I will update the board as Bensonville, uh, the city of Bensonville gives us more information. Freshman orientation. It was a successful event. Three quarters of the auditorium was filled. Incoming ninth graders and parents were introduced to Fenton administrators. Registration process, a plethora of co courses, electives, extracurricular. And they had the opportunity to walk around our building. A huge shout out to uh, Paul and Juliet for attending this uh, and representing the Board of Education. Fenton's March 12, 2020 Career Job Fair. Just we do this every year. I believe this is gonna be our fourth year. It's a humongous event. Uh, it's an important event. Uh, we'll have approximately 50 to 60 uh, local businesses uh, come to Fenton during the lunch periods and inform our students about their, inter their industries and also to rec uh, recruit them for jobs. Village of Bensonville and City of Wooddale Community Newsletter Overview. As part of our strategic plan, we really want to continue to spread the good word of Fenton to all of our communities. So if you have your... your uh, Newsletter, you get this. I know you you look at it. So let's take uh, Wooddale, for example. Uh, we always get three pages, and a huge shout out to Rick putting this together. Uh, this 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 month or this season, our um, SEL uh, messaging is on the, the second page. And if you look at page 21, we have three pages of all of the great things happening at Fenton. A lot of kid pictures, a lot of real upbeat good news there so they do this every year four times a year uh, pretty much so that's Wooddale and for Bensonville we are on page seven okay same thing so uh, we will continue to spread and communicate to our community uh, I would like to thank Kit, Jackie, Patty, Leo, and Paul for attending the conference uh, last Saturday the name of the t uh, conference was trends in collective bargaining um, in Naperville, the, co the, the conference was very informative and useful for our upcoming negotiations. Benson Mill and Wooddale Football and Cheer Association name change. Just, this is just an FYI. The Bensonville Wooddale uh, Football and, and Cheer Association used to be called the, the Bandits. They have changed their names to uh, Junior Bisons. I think this is a great idea. They are really our feeder sort of programs. Um, it's about time, I think, personally, that they changed that name. Why would you call it Bandits? We're the Bison. So I think it's a win-win uh, as a feeder program. Very generous uh, donation. A mobile food pantry donation was given to Fenton. Okay, we know this individual, but this individual does not want to be uh, uh, identified. Uh, I believe this is his or her uh, uh, third time donating. Uh, the, the, the donation will take place June 9th. There will be a food, a mobile food pantry. What basically this individual did is bought a whole truck of food, okay, that we did last year. Jackie and I think Paul was there. And it's really for, it's really a, a good time in June for families to, to receive um, this food, food, uh, the needy, needy families. So that's, the, that's my report. Thank you.
Thank you, James. And I just wanted to add that in regards to the uh, trends in the collective bargaining conference, I thought that that was one of the mo most informative and uh, precise uh, presentations, a lot of explanation of terminology. I thought it was it, it went at a great clip, and I thought it was just very uh, uh, substantive as far as the uh, subjects that you know were covered. You know, rather than a lot of these type of workshops sometimes are just storytelling, and this one wasn't. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was a very good presentation. Okay, then we move on to the um, consent agenda. Consent agenda. Um, do we have any questions or comments of anything on the consent agenda? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So then, uh, may I have a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented? I will make the motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Thank you, Marianne. May I have I'll a second. second? Thank you, Jackie. Roll call, please. Peyton Howell? Yes. Jalwick? Yes. Figueroa? Yes. Rago? Yes. Ramirez? Yes. Ting Paul Pong? Yes. Wiedemann? Yes. All right, motion has passed. Uh, the next item is, is a discussion item regarding the uh, review of the 2020-2021 school calendar. James? Sure. sure. Real quickly, this is a discussion item here. We would, uh, would like to bring this back to the board in February for final approval. Uh, there was a lot of questions um, from the board uh, in regards to the construction of the of the calendar. There's really three or four factors that go into this. Number one, uh, I think the most important thing is to be in compliance in the line with the states. The state says 176 days of school contact. We got 176 school days. Another factor is alignment with our school district. This year, both District uh, 7, I'm sorry, District 2 and 100 are starting on the same date. It's a huge benefit to our family. Two and seven. Um, and third is we really want to balance the budget. I mean, budget. Uh, <laughs> we, did that too. we did too. We did that. <laughs> and I think this, this, this is where, that's true, two straight years. Right? Uh, really balance the calendar. There's semester one and semester two. You want, uh, let's say, a course like, let's say, an art course uh, to be equal. It was, the, the courses are a semester long. Let's say semester one, you have 76 days of school, and semesters two, you have 100 days of school. That's not equ equitable, okay? It doesn't, uh, it, it, it's not best practice. So there's a balancing aspect to it. Mm. And lastly, we want semester one to end before winter break. Okay. We don't want them coming back and taking the finals two or three weeks after courses is over. So uh, we know it's the second week of, of school. Um, uh, I think in general it's a benefit also uh, to get our kids out to be the first one in line to get those summer jobs. Any questions on this? <laughs> Patty always has questions. I, no, I've already asked my question. Yeah, it just, it I just doesn't make sense because right in the middle of August, you know, it's a prime vacation time and, and it's still hot and and June is lousy weather and, you know, it's just, yeah. But we have air speak, speak for yourself, now, educators so. look forward to June. <laughs> <laughs> well, they would look forward to June, but, yeah. you know. No, it's, you know, it, I, it's I get a, it. I, okay. I do, especially you know, wanting to be done before Christmas. So that Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's That's huge. Okay. Yep. So I'll bring this back up again for approval uh, in, at the February board meeting. Okay. Thank you, James. Now the next item is the resolution authorizing preparation and publication of fiscal year 2021 tentative budget. Um, last meeting we alluded to it that this was coming already. Yes. And Bruce, did you want to... Uh, uh, just very briefly, we have a resolution for the board's uh, approval tonight and uh, to fulfill the district's annual requirement to officially establish um, the fiscal year and designate administration to prepare and publish the tentative budget for the coming 2021 fiscal year in accordance with school code section 17-1. Uh, so it's an annual function that we take uh, to formally establish the process and we're asking the board to take action on this resolution tonight. Okay, thank you, Bruce. Anyone have any questions or comments regarding that? All right, then um, uh, 
May have a motion that the Board of Education adopt the resolution authorizing preparation and publication of the tentative budget for the fiscal year 2020-2021. So moved. Second. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, Marianne. Uh, roll call, please, Mary. Peyton Howell? Yes. Ramirez? Yes. Team Paul Pong? Yes. Yalowick? Yes. Figueroa? Yes. Rago? Yes. Wiedemann? Yes. All right, that motion has passed. Um, next item is the financial audit firm, which we just heard. Um, anyone have any questions or comments regarding the firm? Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay, then I, I, guess I, I got one question. So in terms of the audit, when, when was the last time we had it? Every year. That's oh, every year. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, same had firm? Or it is a different no, firm we, because our previous firm. Yes, this go is ahead. a new one. Previous, our, previous, our prior uh, firm, um, they don't want to do a school anymore. There's not enough, oh, um, what would you not. say? It's not lucrative. Yeah, you know. they, they pulled out, um, and they're not going to do the school sector work yep. anymore. So this firm, um, we went through an RFP process, and um, the committee selected this firm as, and is re recommending this firm mm -hmm. uh, for the board to act on tonight. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the end result would be just to make sure we're compliant financially with mm -hmm. it. The, yes, the it'll, it'll audit, it'll begin auditing, the first audit for this firm will be for the 1920 um, fiscal year. Got it. Make sure Bruce is doing his job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Then may, may I have a motion that the Board of Education accept the three-year um, pricing proposal from Lauterbach and mm -hmm. Amin LLP to complete the financial That's audit right. for fiscal years mm -hmm. Ending June 30th, 2020 through June 30th, 2022, with a reservation to review and extend or terminate annually. So moved. Yes, I thank, you, thank you, Marianne. Thank you, Third. Patty. Uh, roll call, please, Mary. Peyton Howell? Yes. Rago? Yes. Ramirez? Yes. Ting Po Pong? Yes. Jalowick? Yes. Figueroa? Yes. Wiedemann? Yes. All right, that motion has passed. Uh, the next item is the applied technology disposal of equipment. Um, Mr. Benson. That would be Mr. Benson. Jim. Yeah. Jim. Jim. The technology equipment disposal. Jim. He's like, what? Right. Put your other hat on. Who's <laughs> listening to music? <laughs> <laughs> Whose hat is it? it? I believe. Is that your hat? Uh, this has to do with some motors or something yes, from the, the uh, uh, CTE program. So right. beyond that, I don't know. I just helped fill out some paperwork. So. Um, and they're just end of life. They've, you know, they're things that they take apart and put back together and they repair and they whatnot. And after a while, you just can't do it anymore. So I think these are, uh, I, I don't recall how many, but they're, they're just going to be re, uh, recycled. And they've been replaced. So they're getting sold? sold recycled. Who's this? recycled. I think they're just getting recycled because I don't think they're... Yeah, eight, eight small um, class engines. Okay. And the, these were... Um, the, the, the critical piece here is they were uh, funded with the Perkins grant. So they were grant funded, so they have to have the board uh, approve their disposal. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're just unusable. Okay. Thank you. Um, I do have a question um, because when you recycle, like metal like that it could be sold i mean is do you know if it's just you don't know yeah i don't know michelle do you can i'm input? sorry i don't know either. yeah I think this is eric Randall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 there's metal it says technology on there but i'm yeah I, <laughs> you don't it's not the motors. Me. <laughs> <laughs> i apologize yeah, for you're that. asking like, whether we could sell it instead of just disposing of well, yeah, well, if they're going to be recycled, they're not going to be disposed. Yeah. I mean, they're yeah. going to be, but, oh, right. but there is, right. like, metal recycling that actually yeah. pay you yeah. for them. Yes, we do, Patty. Uh, uh, we will gather, like, scrap metal, things like that. We'll, yeah. you know, uh, you know uh, collect a whole trailer uh, full of stuff uh, once or twice a year, and then we, we'll get money for that. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we could sure this we could be part of it, but we, we, we could explore it yeah. and see whether we can, yeah. yeah. I, I, just, I mean, it's, I'm sure it's going to be recycled. It's just, be a little bit of recycling. Yeah, get some money out of the point. Yeah, we'll look into it. Yeah, we'll look into I'll pay for the new locker room. Please. Yeah. Yeah, money for the locker room. Or the new wood shop. Ventilation. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> then with that, may I have a motion that the Board of Education approve the disposal of the attached list of obsolete and damaged four-stroke engines and obsolete musical equipment. I want that to make a motion. I'll second. Thank you, Chair Thank you, Mary Ann. I'll roll call, please, Mary. Peyton Howell? Yes. Ramirez? Yes. Ting Po Pong? Yes. Jalwood? Yes. Figueroa? Yes. Rago? Yes. Wiedemann? Yes. Okay, that motion has passed. Now we move on to the committee reports. Um, James. Committee report. First one, Bensonville Community Foundation. That's Juliet and Kit. Yeah, and so um, the, the meeting itself was canceled. We had uh, just me and um, the president, Tom, uh, go over some of the finance, but other than that, we, we didn't have a meeting. Did not have a meeting. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. And then the finance facilities committee, which we just had. Uh, so we, we were here. I, I think we're all moving forward with the uh, continued assessment that's needed. So I think we're all uh, unified in that. Anyone have any? Questions. I mean, we're all part of the meeting regarding that, um, but I think we should proceed. Yeah. Well, is this when we would discuss about setting yeah. up those like the education? It, it's you, you, it basically they're asking permission to move forward. Right. 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 Yeah. Well, and with further assessment that's needed. Yeah. With with, with further. Correct. They're going to come back with I think probably different strategies and proposals. Correct. Along with the results the of the teachers, the faculty. Teacher input. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And then one last thing. The master, the master athletic athletic site athletic plan, plan for yeah. the, water, the wetlands. Right, the the wetlands, yeah. Right. I think it's really critical we need input from our instructors, our teachers, our uh, administrators, as well as the folks who works in the grounds and things like that. What was? Right. I I agree. Is but is that in? Is this on top of what we've already hired them to do? Is this an additional? Yes. I guess yes, it may assume it's an additional it charge is. that yes. well, they did the brick and mortars and electric. Go ahead, kid. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. No, they did the bricks, mortars, electric, plumbing, and stuff like that. And and what that found out is, hey, look, you got a water issue, as you heard him say. We need to really look at that to resolve the other. Yes. And who's and, actually and we, on that committee? Already, like, who's the committee? Just I, I mean, I know we came, but is everybody on that committee? Oh, or? you mean the finance committee? Yes. Who's this on? Committee, the, 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 the chairs and presidents are Marianne and Paul. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know we came, but I wanted yeah. to know who was actually on that committee. Right. Okay. Uh, minimal it. requirement, right? <laughs> but, we, <laughs> but I think it's so that's a great question, Julia. I highly recommend next two or three facilities, finance committee, we all attend. Yeah. So you guys are here because you guys are advocates for this and mm -hmm. you're hearing the same mm -hmm. sort of um, information. So And I these, think those two components, excuse me for interrupting, but are essential to see the bottom line. First mm -hmm. of all, you want everybody to participate that has a stake in the game. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, of course. Right. And, and so it's open to the public. That, yes. Right? They, they and can you need hear that information. Plus the wetlands. I, I mean, we don't know anything about that. I mean, right. well, somebody's, right. well, somebody's no, got to no, look at that. No, no, no. I, no I mean, I agree. I mean, I, I think the, the way I see no, it is that there's so many different components to right. this. There's yes. regulatory, there's stakeholders, there's teachers, there's um, new innovations, you know, and then, and then different needs for different departments. Mm -hmm. There's just too many different components on this. And the way I understand it, then, the, the, um, what's going to be determined moving forward it's only after that point is when we need board approval. That's as correct. far as when uh, we're talking numbers. Right. We, it's, it's a dialogue right now, I think. It's right. getting people's in, input. No final decision has been made. Let's get all the information. That, that, was, that was the uh, basic goal of this initiative anyway. What's our facilities like? A true, right. thorough study. And we're getting the full, full picture of it. When, so. does, when does what we yeah. prepaid <laughs> stop? That's my question. So, you know, we, we've paid for the assessment. Correct. So when, Correct. Did, when does that end? When when do they say okay? Well, you know, is that the third or that's fourth? been in essence completed the actual facility assessment where you had the different trades come in and really take a close look. So we're talking about the educational adequacy study, which mm -hmm. is not it's a lesser cost because it involves talking to people and facilitating mm -hmm. that. Um, and then the athletic site master plan. Uh, I don't know if we have a final figure on that, but that should be less also than that facility assessment. So those are kind of like the two next phases. Mm -hmm. And then any costs after that, we would 
we would obviously discuss. Okay. But the responsibility as far as being compliant and with different codes and all that, that's going to fall fall on them yeah. Right. To, yeah, yes. to, to, to research that right. exactly. on, our, on our behalf. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So are we just saying we should let them just go ahead and do those next two steps? Correct. Absolutely. That's Correct. what we're... I, yeah. I mean, that, that's what I'm saying, but yeah. I, I don't... Do we need to take a vote on it or something or just... It has to be a committee, a committee um, thumbs up. Uh, and and we've already paid for it. No. No, 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 no. These are extra. These are extra. It's an additional right. study. The first part is we paid for already. Okay, I see. And that, we, again, we went to the board and yeah. undertook this. So the it's, second right. part. It's still essential, though, to complete these two last parts, even if it's going to cost us, to get a bottom right. line that's realistic. I mean, right. that, okay. that's. So, so now it's the proposals. Right. It's a recommendation from right. SDR, yeah. which so what, we're, words, we appear to be in, in agreement what, what with. What needs to be done. But we, yeah. we right. just want to make sure that it's a. Like, what do we start that, If there's any further discussion right. that would say, well, what about this or that? So if we're all in agreement, then I think we, we proceed. Right. If there's other questions, we could flush it out here now. Mm -hmm. we, we need to know yeah. what do we need to start first. I mean, this is huge. So this yeah. is what they're trying to figure out. They're Correct. narrowing right. it down mm -hmm. in this huge pool of things. Setting up what priorities. Right. Right. Yeah. right. And like I said, from what I see here, what. I mean, kind of new, but now it's it's really stark reality. Mm -hmm. How many different components there are to this? Mm -hmm. You know, it, you know, as far as it's this, huge. It, and honestly, it's we're just scratching the surface. There is so much. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think they've, then, they've 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 done pretty good yeah. scratching. The, mm -hmm. yeah. the positive really is that what I heard was we've got ten years. <laughs> well, some <laughs> some on some things. Some we got zero. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 zero. I'm hearing a lot. Of, I, I heard a lot of things that were nearing the end of the life. You know, yeah. I mean, I heard that. Quite a bit, but it's a big we've exceeded here. the warranties on them. Um, another concern I have is, you know, I, I love the idea of the athletic site master plan because we could utilize that space over here so much better. Yes. Um, above the wetlands, um, we have to take into consideration, and I'm sure they're going to do this, is the 83 corridor and what they're planning to do with oh. 83. Mm -hmm. And and that that, that is that going to happen for sure. I, I don't, we know. Talk I don't to the know, village. but that needs yeah. to be. All roads are leading to it, James. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So what? All what is? Are what are the plans for eighty three, and how will that impact us there? Yeah. Okay. And maybe we can get money from that whole thing. Correct. Okay. okay. How about this four ninety nine? All about the money. No, that one. Project the four ninety. Four ninety. But that's, that's too far away, that's though. Too far. I, yeah, it's I not going to affect Is that the the two ninety access? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's too far away. That's too far away. Okay. Good. Okay. But just just. Keep, keep that, that in mind. mind. But the, that's a good thought. Yeah. But I could be wrong. But the the eighty three right. project. Yeah. I think that's what I understand is more like, like twenty years that's out. Tour. Okay. Well, I, it would be good to know. Good to know. I, yeah. 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 I don't. I don't know what. I just know that they're talking a lot about the eighty three yes. corridor, mm -hmm. and so yeah, I think that it's, was about. it's right here. Mm -hmm. Right. So we need to be aware. That's too far away. Yeah, that's too far away from our school, though, right? It might go right over. Okay. Okay. Where did I leave off? <laughs> IASB, <laughs> Delegation Paul. IASB. Um, well, we, the only thing I wanted to add to that was the, again, the workshop I thought was very, again, it was very uh, informative. And I, I thought it was very well done. But as far as any other IASB delegate issues, there's, there's nothing right now. Um, so the next one is LEND. LEND. Mm -hmm. I attended last Friday. Yes. Um, it was a good meeting. Uh, two topics, TRS, Teacher Retirement System, uh, came in there, especially came in there. Basically, their, their mantra is always this, the state is not funding the Teacher Retirement <coughs> System enough. So we heard that loud and clear uh, again. Um, also, another big item that they discuss is the Illinois uh, School Board of, Edu of Education has, ha has a positive um, uh, budget for this school year. So. Hopefully, we will. They will fund the right uh, funding sources. I'm sorry, fun, funding um, receivers, if you want to call it, uh, this upcoming school year. So TRS and ISB budget was 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 discussed. Okay. okay. Thank you. And then the next is NetSec. There was no meeting. There was no meeting for January. There was none. Nope. And then the policy committee, Patty and Kit, any. Yeah, we haven't had any yet. Right. Can I ask, Mary, any new policy came from the state? Not yet. No. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so then our next board meeting is 
don't forget is going to be on the 25th, which is a Tuesday and not a Wednesday. Um, Normal time. And Marianne will not be here. Marion will not be here. Correct. Okay. But <laughs> no, because we are going to have the facility. facility facilities committee yes, meeting that's again the next one, right. at six o'clock. At six o'clock. Right. So twenty fifth of February. On, Correct. Tuesday, on, on Tuesday. Tuesday. Because there's a choral concert on the Wednesday. Choir yeah, concert. On the twenty sixth. And it's also Ash Wednesday. And James yeah. <laughs> you will have a cool, everybody will be here, right? So you don't have to worry about me not being here. Still at seven. Right? I would encourage everyone to attend, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it's yeah. very important. Yeah. I think so. We should all be I'll send a reminder. Oh, correct. All right, very good. Just one thing. All right, uh, so we know the next board meeting. We know the next facilities committee meeting at 6 o'clock on Tuesday. Um, yeah. So now we need to go into closed session. So may I have a motion and a second to go into closed session for the purpose of collective negotiation matters between the public body and its employees or the representatives or deliberations concerning salary schedules for one for one of more classes of employees 5 ILCS 120 section 2 C2 I will make the motion to go into closed session Second. Thank you Marianne thank you Julietta <laughs> okay. okay roll call please Peyton Hill yes Ting Paul Pong yes Jalowick? Yes. Figueroa? Yes. Rago? Yes. Ramirez? Yes. Wiedemann? Yes. Okay, we are in closed session and we will be back. We'll take a break.